Hi everyone, today we're going to look at acorns. They will be scattered throughout the woods, but what are we exactly looking for for the food? Well, you want to first look for oak trees. What kind of oak? Red oak. Botanical name? Corcus rubra. Now, here's a photo of what you're looking for of the type of look of the acorn that you're looking for for healthy ones the far left is a acorn that had a grub on it in it and the next one has a cap still on you do not want uh, any of those and any damaged acorns you don't want to as the next ones on the right of the photo you there is a good acorn you want to uh, harvest those ones when you're picking up so how do I harvest the acorns well I get in a five gallon bucket and just go around and pick up the acorns now I'm gonna take my gloves off because it's easier without the gloves and I'm gonna just go around picking up the acorns that are good but I don't know exactly if they are 100% good so how do I tell well in uh, another shot I'm gonna show you how to do the float test all nuts should do a float test so I'm gonna pick up a few of the acorns here and I'll see you in the next video okay now we're in my workshop and I'm going to show you how to process the acorns. First, you're going to need some water. And, well, I'm using clear containers to show you a little bit exactly what I'm doing. So, I got the acorns right here. Brought them inside because it's below freezing outside and the hose does not work. Um, I can usually fill up this bucket halfway and do the float test. So what the float test is, is basically, I just take the acorns, put them in, I only got a few to show you, and basically, you just see which acorns are good and which ones are bad, pour the water right in, and the reason why I'm doing it inside is because your hands will get wet, and when it's cold out, it will be cold out. So, basically, you can see really closely of what is floating right on top. There's a couple acorns here, and then the good ones are more down here. So, we got the point of knowing which ones are a little bit better. So, pick out the bad ones. I'm going to just throw them into the container where I had my water. And then, now, what do I do with the uh, water? Well, I'm going to just pour it into where I had the water. So I pour off that water. And then I'm left with the better acorn. So that's the float test what that is but what do I do with the acorns well some of them you just pick through them you might find a bad one that sinks so you discard that look through make sure that they're all good there might be some uh, don't look so good and I have a big trash can here that I have stuck tons of holes in the bottom of it to let airflow. I have a board on top to prevent any animals that are in the basement going after the acorns like mice. And I got about over 10 pounds of acorns in this and for right now I just toss them in. They'll dry out a bit in there and I just let them sit in there until I use the dehydrator. 
Now, the dehydrator is a faster way to dehydrate. The, pr the primitive way takes about maybe about two months to dry. Um, about that. It could take three months. It could take one month. Determine on what your weather is and how you're drying them inside or outside. Uh, with the dehydrator, it takes a few days to maybe a week at the most. Determine on how strong your dehydrator is. I don't know exactly, just when it's ready, basically, as of this is not an apple bag, it is basically acorns in a one pick bag, not full, filled all the way up. So how do I deal with when they're dried? First off, here's a photo of what the dehydrator will look like when the, it's filled with acorns. So that's what it looks like. Um, so here's the nutcracker that a lot of people talk about. This was uh, purchased, uh, well, not the cheapest of the equipment I'm using. This was about like $200. You can buy it at Dave Bitts Nutcracker, um, what it is. It says right on it, um, right there on the label. I like to use this and the dehydrator with stuff, but I didn't buy it. I asked them for uh, Christmas presents um, for the past few years, so that saved me money. Uh, and so, real simple, you just fill up the nutcracker when you come to that point. But I'm going to stop right here um, to end this part of the video, and you can see the next part of the next video. So. Like and subscribe, visit me at LarkinsWildAbilities.com, and I'll see you at the next video.